up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess and you're watching Keto Rewind. Thank you for clicking on today's video today. I really appreciate it. Um, my channel's been growing like crazy and I am so thankful and appreciative for each and every one of you. Um, and if you are new here and you're just seeing this video, would you please consider hitting that subscribe button down below and turning on those notifications? Um, this way you don't miss any videos and you can keep up with my journey. Um, and one, one real quick thing I gotta throw out there, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional. I absolutely hate saying this every video, but, um, but it's, it's, it is what it is. So um, this, this channel is based off of my own journey and own experience losing over 122 pounds with a ketogenic lifestyle and intermittent fasting. Please do your own research and talk to your own doctor. And a quick promo from Perfect Keto. You know how much I love my Perfect Keto products, especially the unflavored collagen. Um, I swear by it. Um, but anyways, this promo is real close to the one at the beginning of the month that I had. So if you missed out on that one and you wanna, or you wanna stock up, now's the time to do it. The, all the code, coupon code, link, everything is right down in the description box below. Um, but basically you save up to 35% off of five or more items. So to get that 35%, the minimum is five. You can order as much as you want. There's no limit. So it's a great way to really stock up and save. Definitely take advantage of a sale like this. This one's a big one. I'm also gonna leave you at the end of this video with a great recipe on what you can do with the Perfect Keto Protein Bars using an air fryer or oven. So stay tuned to the end of the video for that. So week 66, it was sadly, uh, an emotional week. Um, my kiddos are super sad. They, their grand, my parents, their grandparents or their naughty and pop have left Texas and they have headed back to their home in New Hampshire. So of course the kiddos have been sad. Um, it's we're just we already missed them um, but I quickly wanted to say I know my parents are watching this <laughs> thank you for everything that you did thank you for all the help and I am super proud and of all of your efforts in the last I don't know how many months it's been um, especially dad so don't worry you'll see them again just a little bit more unconventional for the next couple of weeks but anyways it's just been so hectic it's the end of the school year for my for my oldest my youngest graduated from pre-k or preschool um, and so she's starting kinder um, so it's just been one of those weeks where it's just one thing after another so I have just been MIA so please bear with me there'll be some sort of normalcy return to my channel um, come next week like two weeks from now and I just wanted to let you know hang in there I'll be around um, just a hectic week um, but so with that being said, May typically, even and not during these times, is a hectic month for us. Um, I have an anniversary, which I wanted to give a non-scale victory shout out to my husband. So because I can't fit my old one anymore, um, plus I'm allergic to it. <laughs> I just I developed a nickel allergy, so not only does it not fit, but also gives me a rash on my finger. So, but anyways, um, we've upgraded and. I'm super pumped so that's the first non-scale victory but um, so we have anniversary a birthday and of course it's a holiday weekend so May typically is crazy for us um, but so when I hopped on the scale today today's actually Friday I normally weigh in every Monday so I'm two days early well, I guess technically three whatever however you want to if you conclude Monday or not but anyways um, so I hopped on the scale no loss this week so in a way, I'd be like, oh no, I don't have a loss to talk about for this week. So it was like a little bit of anxiety, but then I'm like, it's not about having a loss every week. So not that I justify that I didn't lose two weeks in a row, but it's not about having a loss every week. And that was something that I finally had to take my own advice um, because I feel like this lifestyle, you have to learn how to live within the extremes. You have the keto police, the perfect ones who never mis mistake that are just experts <laughs> then you have 309 pounds what I used to be morbidly obese in that you know the American standard American diet and it's about finding a way to live within the extremes without feeling like you're giving up or missing out while also having plenty of health goals you know to get you to where you need to be to live your best life so this week yeah 
I haven't lost anything, but I'm also, I didn't gain anything. So being that this was gonna be a holiday weekend, I wanted to take Monday off and disconnect from everything, you know, all the devices, and enjoy and recognize the day for what it is, Memorial Day. So I also plan on indulging, <laughs> and that means I'm gonna have some alcohol. I'm gonna just take a step back and enjoy the weekend with my family. It's been a heck of a past couple of months with the current world situation. I feel like we just need, we just need this weekend, you know? So, but that's what the message I'm gonna drive home. Yeah, I haven't lost any weight in two weeks. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably indulge this weekend, but it's not about having a loss every week. It's about living your life and finding that balance. So um, I hope that kind of like makes sense because I live the keto lifestyle 95% of the time, but I have made it very well known that 5% of the time I do enjoy other things outside of the keto lifestyle. So where I'm not really gonna go, go off keto this weekend, but I will have extras. I'm probably gonna make a birthday cake. I am probably gonna have some alcohol. You know, I'm probably gonna have some extras, some keto treats, basically. It's about finding that balance and being comfortable with that because when I first started my journey and I would cheat, and I would literally cheat with like non-keto foods, you know, like very, very unhealthy foods. And I would beat myself up for like a whole week. I would see a huge gain on the scale and I'd be like, oh, well, you know, I have my, a pity party. But as my journey continued on, I learned that, okay, I could still have those cheat meals once in a while that were literally cheat meals, but I just gotta, that's it, and then we move on. We don't dwell on it, we don't focus on it, we just get back down to business. So, and then it's evolved now where I don't really go off of keto, but I just have the extras that are keto. So, and then even then I used to beat myself up about it for like enjoying a keto snack. Well, it's not about that. It's about still living life and making good choices. You don't make that same choice every time you eat, but you do learn to have it once in a while in moderation, and that's how I do it, that's how I've been successful, that's how I've lost over 122 pounds. My choices evolved into something that worked for me. So I am not gonna feel bad at all for having alcohol this weekend. I'm not gonna feel bad for spending time with my family and having extras and maybe making some things with my kids, you know, that kind of thing. So, but come June 1st, I have had a lot of comments on my channel about getting back on it, getting back to keto, you know, help, all that kind of thing. So I'm thinking for June, the month of June, the challenge, we're gonna do a Keto Rewind Clean Eating Keto Challenge. And I'm gonna give you some more, I'll save it for that video, just to make this one not super long. But I've got, I've got you. So we're gonna do it, we're all gonna do it. But for right now, the next week or so of this month, I'm gonna just, wing it in, <laughs> keep doing my fasting, but I'm not gonna stress any time I'm eating or something. Like, I'm just not gonna stress over it. And that is the, that's victory right there. That's the difference between the me now that feels like I've made it. Yes, I have 12 pounds to go, but it's the difference between the girl now that says, it's okay and you live your life 95% of the time golden and you just accept the 5% of the time of life and that's what keeps the lifestyle for me sustainable. So anyways, and that 5%, like I said, it used to be non-keto foods. That 5% has evolved over this journey into keto foods. They're just higher in carbs type, you know, they're treats, that kind of thing. So, but anyways, we will get back to it, and I'm gonna leave on a lighter note. We're gonna head down to the kitchen, and I have some great recipes. What to do with these keto bars from Perfect Keto. I have a new toy that moves with me. Cool, huh? So I have another easy way to use the Perfect Keto protein bars and make cookies out of them. So I'm gonna show you two methods, one using my regular oven and one using my air fryer. For the promo, I would highly recommend unflavored collagen. Like I literally use that every single day. I recommend the unflavored one. Um, I'm personally one that's not a huge fan of flavored anything. So I like to have the control as well. So that's why I go for the unflavored. It truly is tasteless and it dissolves super easy and it's grass fed. So, and that's what I really, um, I, I'm, I'm a strong advocate of collagen for skin support. And as someone who's losing all this weight, um, 
I need all the help I can get with my support of my skin. So, and that's what I swear by. So anyways, um, let's show you how easy this is. I'm gonna flip the camera around, then you can see what I'm doing. These are the best flavors to do this. The only one I didn't find work that worked was the chocolate chip. Um, it melted and it was too hard to put, keep together. So we have almond, but, almond butter brownie, cinnamon roll, salted caramel, lemon poppy seed, and birthday cake. I do these probably once or twice a week. Um, it makes me feel like I'm having a little tasty treat um, without overdoing the macros. So all we're gonna do is take an air fryer basket, um, use your own. I like this one because of the shape of it. I like to line it with some parchment paper. And we're gonna do three of them <laughs> because I only have so much room on my pan. So we're gonna do Almond butter brownie, salted caramel, and cinnamon roll. And we'll do a quick little demonstration of how easy it is to do it. So first of all, I'm gonna go preheat my air fryer to 400 degrees. You can make these in how big or small um, sized pieces that you want. I will show you a picture of the tiny like size, like where I've done eight of them. But so that I can do all of these as a demonstration, we're gonna do two, two cookies per bar. We're gonna go ahead and cut them. So I'm just taking a knife and cutting them right down the middle. And so that I now have six cookies. So spread them apart because they're gonna spread when they cook. And I'll show you a close up once I get these spread out here. So I'm gonna pop these in the air fryer for four minutes and we'll be right back. So I think I'll start with the almond butter brownie because I just restocked my... Mmm. It's like having a brownie. So chocolatey. Really good. Birthday cake. Mmm. Finger looking good. Wanted to show you how fluffy and flaky like these are not dry at all they're really good <laughs> mm. so good definitely gonna try it this one is cinnamon roll my favorite mm. game changer and taste and texture i promise <laughs> finger looking good all right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to use the coupon code, the link. You know, all the details are gonna be down below in the description box. And thank you to all our military armed forces and all that kind of thing from Keto Rewind. Bye-bye!